Hey guys, today we're going to look at Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver for the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, now this was um, an updated port from the uh, PlayStation 1 version of the game. And uh, this one basically has uh, much nicer textures, particle effects, lighting. Uh, it, it really does look a tremendous amount better. So um, yeah, this is, if you're thinking about uh, which version to get, I would probably say get this one. Because it's the same game, but just looks a lot nicer. Of course, that's if you have a Dreamcast. So uh, this is one of the earliest games to be released for the Dreamcast. Uh, as you can see, we've still got the white label on the side and uh, the white down here. Uh, this was made by Crystal Dynamics, uh, who, well, as you can see, they've got Gex there, but uh, now you probably know them for um, the most recent Tomb Raider game, which was the downloadable effort. I um, can't remember what it was called now. And, of course, you've got Eidos. So, we have a pretty cool image of the main character on the front here. And uh, we have our usual description and screenshots on the back here. Betrayal, Intrigue, Revenge. Azraziel, that's the main character. Stalk the shadows of Nosgorf, uh, feeding on the souls of your former vampire brethren in your quest to destroy your creator, Cain. After being betrayed and executed by Cain, return to Nosgorf in an epic uh, mission of revenge. A milestone in 3D adventure. Yeah, so exclusive to the Sega Dreamcast. Improved character models and, uh, you know, special effects. Over 40 hours of gameplay. Uh, over a hundred cinematics with 45 minutes of voiceover. That was uh, pretty impressive. And uh, there we are, official Dreamcast magazine. That didn't last long. Uh, the first truly massive adventure um, outing on Sega Dreamcast. So yeah, we've got screenshots over here. And Razel looking all menacing over there. So yeah. Inside. We have the disc, uh, it's just got the same picture of Raziel from the back cover. Behind the disc, we have uh, Raziel stabbing a vampire on, uh, you know, on a, I don't exactly know what that is, I'm assuming it's a spear, but it kind of looks like an arrow to me. A really big arrow. Anyway. And, uh, you know, with the number for the IDOS hint line, which was uh, only a dollar a minute. But you had to be uh, 18 years or have parents' permission. Okay, on the back of uh, the manual over here, we have an ad for Fighting Force 2, which is another ADOS game. Don't really know anything about that one, to be honest, but... Uh... Anyway, so if we can get this out, which is always uh, the biggest difficulty with Dreamcast games. So, front cover again. And uh, we've got our full, pretty standard black and white manual. Uh, there's plenty of pictures of the game and uh, different of different CG renders, as you can see here. And, uh, you know, it, it teaches you how to play the game and goes through the backstory uh, pretty well. So, we have a few pages of backstory. Living and dying, abilities, enemies, combat. You can send in a, uh, one of those postcard things about where, you know, your decision to purchase the game and da 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 and uh, you get two free issues of Game Fan Magazine uh, I, I have not heard of them so I, I'm not sure how long they lasted <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gone now anyway so yeah really not much to say about it, it's a pretty stock standard manual but uh, not a bad one for the era. <laughs> Kane's Legion. In other words, all the people worked on the game. Yeah. So that's fun. So that has been your look at Legacy of Kane's Soul Reaver for the Sega Dreamcast. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and see you later.